Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. Here's a quick demo to show you how you can insert row numbers into your sheet that stay static relative to the position of that row, rather than row IDs, which can be automatic and therefore will move around or be out of order when you insert new lines into your sheet. So let's have a look at what I mean. So in this time plan, you can see that I've got a row ID, which is an automatic field. And so as a new item comes in, it automatically gives it a number. And what's happened is I've added an item in here afterwards, and it's at row ID number 98, and this one's 87. And if I add a new one here, for example, so I'm just going to add a new one in and say new, save that. You can see that's now 103. Again, if you're trying to use this to have a sequence of where it is, if you can see down the side, we've got these numbers. Sometimes you want to have that number, say, for example, if you're exporting it into Excel or other things, or there are other reasons why you'll be having that static number. So how can you get it to actually have an actual row number always there available as well? So let's have a look. It's quite a simple formula. And all you're going to do is do a match formula. And so you're going to do equals match. And what you're telling it to do is you're asking it to match here, the row ID, and what you're going to do is then you're going to, I'm copying that just to make it easy for myself so I don't have to type it in, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the range I wanted to look at is the row ID range, and so I'm pasting that bit, and what I want to do is I want to find its relative position in the sheet, so I'm going to put zero, and if you look down here, returns, the first position is one, well, in this case I want not sorted zero, and so if I press enter, it's going to tell me it's three. If I now turn this into a column formula, hey presto, you can see all these numbers are accurate relative to their position in the sheet. So I'm going to now save that. And if I move 103 up to, let's just say, the top of the sheet, you can see it's automatically updated to be 3. So again, let's move it down. It's updated to 4, whereas this number stays static. So again, really useful if you ever need to have the row numbers which stay static throughout your time on the project. Hope that's been useful. More tips to follow. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.